Hi everyone, this is a presentation for the project of machine learning course and the topic of audio content based music recommendation by SkyChain and Shi Liu. Music categorization and music recommendation systems are two significant components in the area of music information retrieval. In this project, we first pre processed the data, then focused on the application of convolutional neural networks and supervised learning techniques for the task of music genre classification, and then finally develop a music recommendation system based on the given music audio record. The data set we plan to use is Gitzan, which is a popular choice of music related projects. The music records are collected in 2000 and 2001, where it contains 100 pieces of each of the eight music types. Here is a small clip on some music in our data set. Wave plus is a plot of the amplitude envelope of a waveform, which let us know the loudness of the audio at a given time. However, from wave plus, we cannot gain much information. Spectrogram is a visual representation of the frequency content of an audio. Different music genre presents distinct patterns in the spectrogram. Hence, we transfer audio to image and tackle the genre classification problem as a parallel problem as image classification. After getting the spectrogram of the records, since we see that our action is taking place at the bottom of a spectrum, we can convert the frequency axis to a logarithmic one. For each record, we split the spectrogram into seven sub-figures for the purpose of data augmentation. Here I will introduce the deep learning models. We implemented multi-layer perceptual model and two types of CNN models, FlowNet5 and AlexNet. For every model in this section, we use ReLU as activation function, Adam as the op optimizer, and use cross-entropy criterion. Our multi-layer perceptual model contains three linear layers. In the training process, training accuracy converges to 55.9% and validation accuracy converges to 60.5%. Here is our structure for the Lenite 5 convolutional neural network. In total, we have three conf layers, three max polling layers, and then four linear layers at the end. In the training process, training accuracy converges to 49.1% and validation accuracy converges to 50.1%. Here is our structure for the AlexNet convolutional neural network. In total, we have three conf layers, three max pulling layers, and then three linear layers at the end. In the training process, training accuracy converges to 61.1% and validation accuracy converges to 57.7%. Here is the test accuracy for the three networks. The test accuracy for MLP is 53.5% and for the net is 46.5% and for AlexNet is also 46.5%. Therefore, the multilinear perceptual model here yields the best results. Since the result given by CNN is not so ideal, we also try to use some machine learning methods like logistic regression, Gaussian naive base, and the support vector machine to train classifiers. First, we need to extract some features from the spectrogram we obtained before. With the help, for, with the help of Librosa, we have collected the following features for each sound clip. First, chroma frequencies, which is a representation of pitch spreading in time shifting window. Spectral centroid, the location of the center of mass of the spectrum. Spectral bandwidth, the width of the band of spectrum at one half of the peak maximum. Spectral row off, the frequency under which cutoff of the total energy of the spectrum is contained. Zero crossing rate, the rate of sign changes along the spectrum. And finally, we obtain two 20 male frequency substrate coefficients, which is a representation of the short term power spectrum. 
To our surprise, the test accuracy of these methods is quite high. We have about 72.5% for logistic regression, 55% for Gaussian naive base, and 70% for support vector machine. Our guess why this outperforms the result when we use deep learning techniques is that the features better preserve the characteristics of the whole sum, while the input data for CNN is fragmented due to the input size restrictions. Finally, we build a recommendation system mainly with two steps. First, we use logistic regression to classify the genome of a given sum. Then, we will recommend the most similar sums to it based on the cosine similarity calculated on the feature matrix of our music library. This is an example. First, we randomly choose a song in the test set, which is Jazz 52, and it is correctly classified into Jazz. Now we are going to play Jazz 52 and the recommended songs to it. In most cases, the songs recommended will be under the same genre. For Jazz 52, it's a little bit different. However, after we dive into the songs, we can tell that they actually sound similarly, even if they are not under the same category. This is all about our project. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.